going upwards. That means in current space is nothing but as if this has the earth or the land, and here the air will be flowing, right? The wind will be blowing, right? The air will be hatched up. That means whenever there is a warmth or high temperature on the surface of the earth, those air will be catched up or will be flown upwards towards the clouds that is known as the air currents which are pushed in upward direction and by coming to the water droplets we will be seeing that they are flowing downward direction this vigorous movement of upward direction of air currents and downward direction of water droplets results in the cause of separation of the charges that is positive charges will attain the upward side and the negative charges will be attending the lower side of the cloud. Thus, the positive charges are occupy the upper surface and the negative charges will occupy the lower surface of the clouds. And by coming to the earth surface, it in turn carries the positive charge particles on the earth surface. Therefore, why these charges have been separated, I have said, because of the movement of the upward and downward direction of the water droplets and the air currents. Now, this separation of these uh, molecules, that the charges, will be resulted in the formation of separation. But, why this lightning occurs is, when these positive and negative charges clouds or mingles with other clouds or within the clouds or with the earth, then the lightning and sounds will come. What is the cause for this uh, clumping of these two charges is, Actually air, what is the air? Air is a poor conductor of electricity that means we can't pass the current in the air that is it is not a good medium, it doesn't act as a good medium for the passage of electricity or charges. Therefore, as these charges are attaining high intensity, they will be losing the capacity that means the air will lose its capacity to hold these charges. So, in turn they will be collided or they will be collapsed. Those collapsing of these molecules of charges in turn results in the formation of light and sounds. Those are the things what we will be seeing during the thunderstorm and rainy season, during rain time, that is lightning and sounds. It is just because of the collapsing of these charges, that is the main reason and the main cause of lightning. And this process is called as electric discharge because this is known as electric discharge because this charging nation is collapsed. That is, they are losing the charge, either positive or negative charge. So, this is known as discharge and therefore it is called as electric discharge. Hope you are clear how the lightning and thunder will occur. And it is not because of the beliefs, that is superstitious beliefs such as uh, God's uh, anger and all those things.
when we see if, if, if at all you are traveling in cars or vehicles or in buses while raining during the tunnels and lightning time, you have to close your all the doors and then it is okay, it's fine, it is a safest place. If at all it is open, then it is leading to the danger and it is open, and it is leading to the dangerous causes for lightning. And the do's and don'ts, what we have to do and what we have not to do during the lightning time is open vehicles are not safe. That means you have to not at all open the doors of the vehicles or buses or cars, whatever you are traveling. And you have to be stay away from the trees, buildings, no, sorry, from the poles and all. And also you have to, even if you are inside the house also, the safest place is inside the house also you have to switch off all the computers, TVs, internet, everything, electrical medias, all things, everything you have to switch off. And if you keep the lights on, it's no problem, there is no issue of lack on the lights. But you have to keep away from yourself, you have to keep away from all the high voltage equipments and also lightning can strike, means lightning can uh, attract the mobiles, metal pipes and telephone cards and electrical wires because all these electrical wires and telephone cards are having the charges, right? Therefore, there will be a tremendous attraction between those lightning and those charges. So we have to keep them far away and we have, we have to keep them every electrical devices in the switch off mode only. Now, bathing and talking in phones and mobiles should be avoided and we should be away from those things during the lightning and thundering time. And uh, electrical appliances, uh, sorry, electrical appliances like computers, TVs and all, you have to be uh, very far from that. what we have to take during the lightning and thundering time and also if you are aware uh, the trees with uh, longer heights like coconut trees that we have to be very far from those trees because they are of higher heights and they are having the capability or more majority of attracting the lightning so we have to be far from those trees and uh, position what you have to be inside or if at all you are outside in any form or in any agriculture or lands in an open areas, you have to be in a such a position that is you have to close your uh, hands and you have to keep the hands on your head on the upper head and you have to close yourself and you have to sit down that is the most important and safest position when lightning and thunder is over let us see the lightning conductors which are useful during the lightning that is you will be observing on the buildings on the top of the buildings a metallic rods which are of higher heights than the house. Those metallic rods which are of higher heights will be used as the lightning conductors. That means these metallic rods which are of higher heights. That means one end of these metallic rods will be able open to everyone and it is visible and the other end of these metallic rod will be dipped inside the earth surface. Therefore, we can say that even if at all we get higher range of lightning that will be absorbed by these metallic rods and it will be directly transferred into the earth. This is known as one type of earthing which is used to prevent from, this is the safety measure used to prevent from the lightning and thundering from the rain. Wires and these pipelines are also much advantageous, that means they are also mostly useful in order to reduce the shocks or to reduce the lightnings which are falling on the houses. Now they will be reducing by because of the process known as earthing that they will be absorbing the charges whatever fallen through the lightning on the houses. This is the most important precaution or prevention taken during the lightning. That is lightning conductors which are useful for earthing purpose. Now let us see the other natural phenomena or the other most serious natural phenomena occur which we can't predict it at all. That is known as earthquakes. Even these lightnings and thunders we can assume if there is a heavy uh, 
rainy season or in the, uh, if at all the wind is very highly blowing and if it is a thunderstorms and lightning, we can assume that lightning uh, may occur. The weather departments will give us little information regarding these uh, lightning and thunder. But regarding these earthquakes, no one can predict it as fast as possible. And due to that, these earthquakes will result in a huge destruction of life. Yes, I 